so guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel my spiritual warfare part two so if you guys haven't um watched part one please go ahead and watch it first and then come back to this one so part two got me some more clients in the spring so now i got some some clients and i've been advertising been making a little bit of dough and we up comes i got a client that again very picky he didn't want babies he doesn't want a whole lot of things and i've been investing in advertisement in advertising these um these properties in putting my money in because i don't get paid until after i get a renter inside this, these homes and um investing my money into it advertising like spending money like i advertise every weekend sometimes and it depends if it's a long all it's, it's a long weekend i try to advertise so i can I'm, I'm just trying to find the right tenant and he was just being picky was just being picky i don't know if he's been i i, I find that a lot of them are picky because either they don't want black or indian or another um race in their property but don't want to say it so they're like oh no and they will find some small issues to say this is why they don't want them or oh um my spirit doesn't take that person oh they have a dog they have a baby um they have a teenager what if this what if that and i find that um the, the client was getting a very picky and then i was i was like you know what i think i need to hop out of this but anyways um, I ended up not making any money from that. I had another client that I rented his uh, one of his property before that um, contacted me, and guess what? I, um, I've been showing the property. I've been I've sent people there, and then behind my back they went and they advertised, and they're telling me, "Oh, so we found someone. I like the person, people them that I I like one of your one of your tenants." But we also have one that we're gonna we're we're gonna stick with, so we don't have to pay you. Well, they have to pay me, but because I can't be bothered with the fight and the back and forth, and I just said, you know what, you guys just make your decision. You just do your thing, and I'm out. So I never get paid for that one. And I have another one that I got, and with they have two properties. And with this one, with this two properties that they have, I was supposed to make around six thousand dollars. It was a dirty place. It was nasty, and I was like, I cannot show it like this. And they're like, Yeah, please, you have to show it like this until we get it clean up. We're trying to get it clean up for because we need it to be rented before a certain time. And I was showing it. We get offer, and they didn't want. Like, they didn't want those people. They want. They want. They just want. They're just making up their own rules. And I don't want to be a part of that. I'm like, I do not want to be a part of illegal things. I do not want to be a part of things that, like, I feel like you're scamming people that don't have it already. And the um the 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 property is already um at the highest point. Not even. It's way above what it's supposed to be rented for. And we were having this fight back and forth. And after it got rented, I did all my paperwork, did all my credit checks, did everything for them. And guess what? They did not want it to pay me. They did not want it to pay me. And I know, I know, I know. Usually, I, um, with my other clients, there are some clients that I allow to the payment to go to. And then I send them an invoice. And there are some clients that allow me to do everything. And I send them. A check after I collect everything so yeah they didn't want it to pay me so for that month I lost three ohms and I basically did not make anything I did not so it's a learning curve for me I did not make anything and then I figure oh my gosh bills has to be paid and um, I'm struggling with this business right now so what I'm going to do is go back, find a job, and then I will from find, it, find a job until, and then just work that consistent paycheck while I'm building my business 
so that eventually I, I don't have to really work. I'm not, I, I don't have to really, I'm not depending solely on the business to bring in money. So I went, got a job, 24 hours. Sent my res resume, got a call back, did a phone interview, and then they called me back and asked me if I, can, I could go in the following day for a face-to-face -face interview, which I did. And yep, went there. And the, um, by the time I got home, they told me that I got the job. I was excited. So excited, I, wasn't, I was excited about the job. I kind of knew I wouldn't stay there for too long. I just wanted something while I build my business. I may, I don't know, I don't know. But this job, I wasn't really as happy as I, well, I usually is. And I guess because they were uniform. One of the things that knocked me down is because they wear uniform and I'm not a uniform person. I don't like uniform. I like to dress and wear what I like. <laughs> so that was one of the drawbacks. The other one was I feel like I was in school and I'm not used to, I'm used to making my own schedule. I, I, I'm used to going to work, working from home, on top of my own, doing my appointments. I, I feel like I was in school and I have like this principal. And so I, I was like trying to feel it out to see if it's going to always be like this because it's the same industry that I work, work with or work for. It's the same industry that I've been working for for the last, I would say, 10 years. I started that job, but all through this time, I have been getting dreams of being attacked by dogs, by unusual animals that I've never seen in my life. They're attacked to my feet, they're attacked to my fingers, and then I know that my finance is under attack. So one day, so I went to work, this guy who's supposed to, supposed to be the manager and I'm supposed to be his assistant manager went to work and I was there for three weeks and I didn't understand why he wasn't allowed he wasn't training me he like I'll try to input get make suggestions and he didn't want it he keep on telling me I'm the manager I'm the manager I'm the manager and he, I feel like he walked with a chip on his shoulder and he just this management thing that get to his head and I'm like trying to tell him dude I don't want your job I don't want your job I'm just here for a moment until I build my business no I didn't say that to him but the way he was acting he acted as if I was I came to steal his job because a lot of people was talking about my experience again because I have a lot of experience I've been working in this industrial industry for a while and in the local or the small towns close to where I'm living there's not a lot of people with this form of experience so when um, presidents or vice presidents or owners of these company um, meet people that has these kind of experience they get excited so he didn't like the fact that they were liking me and they wanted to give me my own project my own site for myself so I knew he bothers him because he said it he's like uh, someone suggests oh hopefully Keisha will be able to get his own or home projects or own project you know the site is gonna be opening soon and she can run it because it's closer to her home and he's like no no the owner told me that I will be the one that gets it and I was like whoa dude I, I, I don't really care for those kind of stuff I don't I don't really care to spend my life working for someone it's not what I'm here for you want it you get it if you want me to assist you I'll assist you we'll just work as a tag team like like what we're doing right now and I'll, you know like he's been doing some childish thing and I talked to him about it I was like no you know you know a lot of companies that I've worked for this is what we do um, this is how we do certain things yeah he didn't like it so one day I went to work three weeks I spent there uh, but I but nobody likes him nobody likes him at this company because he does what he wants he snitches on everybody else and he disappeared whenever he wants to disappear he barely do anything but he kiss the bosses them asses and it looks like they like that so one day I was there and I was like I don't I don't understand why I can't work 
on my own i've been doing this for years like why do you all why do you have to shadow me and so he said you know what you're gonna do it this time this day you're gonna do it by yourself this time i said okay so i was preparing myself to do this home ins pdi it's like the pre-delivery um inspection with for its new builders so with the 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 homeowners coming to see their house for the first time so i'll walk them through and show them how the uh, the mechanical stuff operates and just look for things that are um damaged or incomplete or not to their satisfaction i would write it down and we'll try to get it fixed so while i was walking around i noticed the bus came in and i thought he was just there to kind of see how i work and then he's like um keisha i'm sorry and you know what 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 happens once you hear the word i'm sorry it means you're fired and i was like what the hell i could not believe that guy that but i knew he tried to get rid of me before either he's he's intimidated by me because of my color the fact that i have more experience or i'm a woman i don't know so yeah <laughs> he got rid of me and i knew i was just under like i kept dreaming even that time i dreamt the night before it happened i dreamt and i wrote the boss the morning before like half an hour before he came and i sent him an email and then he was like how do you know that you were like how do you know because i was like i sense that my time is limited here because of such such and such and i'm not being trained I'm not, you know, I'm just tucked into a corner and whatever. And he was like, how do you know that today was going to be your last day? Because I serve a living God. That's who I serve. A living God. So he prepares, he prepares me before you can embarrass me. Even though it was a little bit embarrassing. But I know a lot of people was coming down on him. I, like when I walked back and I was telling everyone that I just got fired, that dude adam fired me everyone was like in shock they just turn and look at me with their mouth open in shock so i've been like battling like spiritual hatred rejections attack on my finance like crazy but even though god continues to make a way it's like i've never seen my count this empty it had it's it's empty but my bills are being paid because god is a provider and i serve a provider and he is my source so i am still going through it um i kind of i'm doing i still have my business i still do have like customers who call me and people that's been uh, i have this dude that referred me and i got about he referred me to I would say three people and each of those investors have about three to four homes while I am here getting the fight God is working he's using someone else to work for me because I honestly kind of give up but not really give up it's like I'm like here God do whatever you want to do and I kept getting call oh this person give me your number this person give me your number um and it's the same guy it's the same guy that's been given so many different people my number and these people have like three or four homes that they're trying to get rented and they need a property manager so god has been doing great the bills has been paid but i haven't seen i haven't seen my exceedingly abundantly above all that i can think or imagine yet i haven't feel that breakthrough hasn't come yet but i know that at the end of this year eyes haven't seen ears haven't heard the kind of blessing that god has in store for me because i'm not gonna give up the devil is, isn't going to break me i'm not gonna break beep be broken for the devil one bit the more he attack the more i praise god the more i read my bible the more i fast so you're not alone you're not alone the more you feel attack read your bible pray and fast 
we're in this together um i know there's times that you just you feel like you have no hope you feel like you're so depressed you feel like you just want to stay in your bed and sleep until it's over when the breakthrough comes let it reach me in my bed no get up get up get up get up that's what the devil wants and he wants to play tricks with our minds get up and fight it fight it fight it fight it fight it right now i'm like trying to go through um this thing where i'm trying not to conform myself to this world i am trying to renew myself take this opportunity to renew myself and i hope you guys do the same i will update you on my warfare or my breakthrough as it comes um hope you guys have a great day a great week and a great month and i'll see you in my next video